So today we're going to learn um, how to continue simplifying alge algebraic expressions. We're going to look specifically at expressions that have like terms. And we're going to combine those like terms to simplify the expression. I'm going to read this up to you. An algebraic expression is in simplest form if it has no like terms and no parentheses. When you use the distributive property to combine like terms, you're simplifying. So simplifying an expression is another way of just getting it to the point where you have no like terms and no parentheses. Uh, so let's take a look at a few examples. Copy down this first example onto your note sheet. We have 4x plus 6 plus 2x. One of the simplest things to do when simplifying expressions is to look for like terms. Like terms have the same variable. So 4x and 2x are like terms. Because they have the same variable, we can add the coefficients or the numbers in front of those variables. So we can add 4 plus 2 and that gives us 6x. If there were any other constants, I could add them to the 6, but I have no other constants or numbers that stand alone without a variable. So my final answer is 6x plus 6. I just put that expression into simplest form or simplest terms. Take a look at this one. 5n plus 2 minus n minus 6. In this expression, um, we have something different. We've got subtraction signs. I've got to be careful about that. One of the first steps you could take is to change any numbers right behind the subtraction sign to the opposite sign. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5n plus 2 plus negative n or negative 1n. Remember, if there's no number in front of the variable, it does have a coefficient of 1, or in this case, negative 1, and plus negative 6. Uh, by doing this, it's just going to help me avoid little silly errors later. Okay, now I'm going to do what I did in the first one. I'm going to look for like terms. 5n and 1n are like terms because they have the same variable. Now that's a negative 1n. So I can add the coefficient 5 plus negative 1. 5 plus negative 1 is 4n. Now I'm going to look for any other like terms. I have no other variable terms. But I do have the constants 2 and negative 6. Because those are just regular old constants, I can add those. 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. So my final answer is 4n plus negative 4. Or I could write 4n minus 4. Okay, look down at this third example here. I'm actually going to move everything up. And you know it, you can always pause the video if I'm talking too fast. And go back and write down whatever you missed. Let's take a look at that last one there. It says 6y minus 3 times parentheses x minus 2y. I've got a lot of things going on here. I've got some like terms. I've got parentheses. So I've got distributive property. And I've got some subtraction going on as well. So I've got to be extra careful to make sure I simplify this one correctly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it with all addition. So I'm going to rewrite it as 6y plus negative 3 times parentheses x. I'm going to make that addition and make that 2y negative. Okay, this is not an essential step but it is going to help me avoid silly mistakes later. Okay, one of the most common mistakes is kids just not paying attention to the negatives. So I like to take this step of making any subtraction, addition, and changing the sign of the number right behind it. Our next step in this case is going to be to use the distributive property. So right here, I've got to do negative 3 times x and negative 3 times negative 2y. So I've got 6y plus negative 3 times x, that's negative 3x, plus negative 3 times negative 2y, that's 6y. And I'm still not finished. 
Now I'm going to take the last step, which is to combine any like terms. I still have 6y and 6y. Those are like terms. So I can add the coefficient 6 and 6. That gives me 12y plus, I have no other x terms, so I've just got to keep that negative 3x, and I cannot go any further. So that is in simplest form. So to summarize what I did, I first changed any subtraction into addition. I rewrote the expression with only addition signs. The second step, look for any distributive property. If you've got parentheses with a number outside of it, then you better rewrite that using the distributive property. And then step three, combine any like terms or constants. And you should have your answer in simplest form. It's your turn. I want you to try these three problems, pause the video, unpause when you're finished, and we'll go over them. Okay, let's take a look at how you did. Step one, you're going to rewrite that with only addition. So I'm going to rewrite it as 4x plus 6 plus negative 3x. Step two, look for distributive property. I don't have any distributive property to do here, so I can go to step three, which is to combine like terms. 4x and negative 3x is 1x, or I can just write x. And I've got that 6. Get that one right. Let's check the next one. I'm going to rewrite it with only addition. So 2m plus 3 plus negative 7m plus negative 4. Step 2, look for distributive property. There isn't any. So I can go to step 3, which is to combine like terms. I've got 2m and negative 7m, which is negative 5m. I've got some constants here. 3 and negative 4, well that makes negative 1. You can also write that as negative 5m minus 1. That would be the same thing. Let's check this one. Uh, first step would be to rewrite it if I had any subtraction, but I don't. So I can jump to the second step, which is to rewrite it using distributive property. So 4 times q is 4q. 4 times 8p is 32p. And then this plus p over here is standing outside the parentheses, so I'm not going to do 4 times that because that wasn't inside the parentheses. Um, I can take the last step of combining like terms here. I've got 32p and what is that again? 1p. So 32p plus 1p, that would give me 33p. And I've got this 4q. 4q plus 33p is the final answer. Let's take a look at one more problem. It's a word problem here. Let's do this together. Meso and Lola both collect stamps. Lola has 16 more stamps in her collection than Meso has. Write an expression that represents the total number of stamps in both collections. In this case, I don't know how much Maso has, and I don't know how many Lola has. But I do know that Lola has 16 more stamps than Maso. So if I were to let M equal the number Maso has, I could rewrite this for Lola. I now know that Lola has 16 more than Maso. So that's an expression for Lola. I'm already letting M equal the number of stamps Maso has. So now I can try to write an expression that shows the total number of stamps for both kids. Well, I know that Maso has M. I know that Lola has 16 plus M. And if I'm trying to find the total between both, that's just adding them up. And here we have an expression that can be simplified. 1m and 1m would give me 2m plus 16. And I can't go any further because I don't know how many Maso has. I don't know how many Lola has. But I've done what was asked, and I've written an expression in simplest form that represents the total number of stamps 
in both collections. Make sure you bring all these notes to class tomorrow and we'll practice simplifying algebraic expressions some more.